Welcome. Now in this module, we're going to talk about PHP security hardening. As you know, PHP is one of the most commonly used platforms for development of web applications around the world. And there are practically millions of web pages uh, developed in PHP. Now, when we had talked about software security hardening, we had talked about an entire process that we follow for the, uh, for the software security hardening. And that would include, uh, let's just do a quick review of that. That would include, number one, identifying the asset. And here we have a PHP application that we need to harden. And what we're doing here is actually hardening the code, the software code. The second uh, step that needs to be done is that you always go out and research the security controls that are applicable on that IT asset. And in this case, it's a PHP um, web application. When you, have identify, when you have done some research on the controls, we come up with the best set of controls, which should preferably come from an established institute, for example, the Software Engineering Institute, SEI, or Open Web Application Security Project, or Cloud Security Alliance, or some other authentic source, which has a R&D uh, capability. When we have identified the most appropriate set of security controls for that particular asset, then we uh, note those down in a checklist and convert that into an Excel sheet so that we can mark off uh, in, the, in, the, in the next steps whatever controls we have identified and it becomes easier to track. Step number four, we enter uh, the, these particular controls in our SOP so that it is documented in the organization that whenever we are going to develop an application, in this case, in PHP platform, version number, so and so forth, uh, we are always going to follow the control set, which is the one that we are recommending. Uh, step number five is very important, and the control set is actually implemented so the developers or the team of developers will implement it, will implement the selected controls on the IT asset, but this is going to happen in a test environment. Step number six is the validation or checking or verification that the controls have been suitably and comprehensively applied on the IT asset. And that is done either through um, some other team member in a matrix organization, it could be a developer in another organization, it could be a security consultant, it could be the security information team. However, since we're talking about security controls on PHP in this case, hence the person who will validate and check that the controls have been implemented on that particular application in the test environment will need to know obviously the PHP uh, language and will need to have experience in that area. And what can also be done is that you can also pick up or place resources in the quality assurance or QA department, and those resources can help uh, start to help implementing security and team up for not only the quality part, but can integrate the security part. And whenever the control gates are there for quality, the security element can also be introduced in the quality assurance process to make sure that as an end result, it's not only quality assurance, but it's also security which is being implemented. Step number seven is that uh, once the validation has taken place and all the corrections have been made, all those areas where further work need needed to be done has been done, then we start to introduce the change management process to take this particular version of the software into the production environment. So the approvals are taken, and what can also be done is that in very special cases uh, where the software is very critical or it has business risk or it is a financial application or it has uh, some other uh, priority or exposure, for example, on the internet and to be used by the outside world. So by evaluating the risk or the exposure of this application, we may decide to do a penetration test, a professional penetration test. And step number eight, after this entire exercise is done, we actually move uh, this application in a planned manner by uh, preparing the rollback and uh, preparing and getting the sign off on change management. It's actually moved into production. And, and then we monitor this application once it's moved into production, because there may be some unexpected issues arising, uh, which were not foreseen because the entire set of controls had been implemented previously in the test environment, and now it's been moved into the production environment. That was just a quick review how to go through the eight-step uh, security hardening process, which we follow also for software applications. Now, for PHP, 
Uh, this is a set of controls that you can see the URL on the screen. And let's take a look at the set of controls which is recommended. Now there are nine, about nine or 10 set of controls which are recommended by this particular source that I had just shown you, uh, PHP Earth. cross site scripting, injections, there's about four different uh, types of injections, SQL, directory traversal, command injection, code injection. Then we have cross-site request forgery. So these are all uh, the set of uh, vulnerabilities uh, which OWASP top 10 identifies, the top 10 vulnerabilities in web applications. Most of them are the same. Public files, passwords, uploading files, session hijacking, remote file inclusion, the actual PHP configuration, which includes error reporting, exposing PHP versions, remote files, open based uh, directory, session settings. And then HTTPS and uh, other aspects, miscellaneous. So let's take a look at just one of these controls. That particular source that I showed you um, after doing research, it's a good set of controls for PHP security. Let's just take very briefly a look at one of them. Always keep, this is number nine, PHP config configuration. Always keep the installed PHP version updated. You can use version scan, which is a, which is a tool uh, to scan the version and tell you the vulnerabilities associated with that version to check for possible vulnerabilities of your PHP version. And you can look up version scan on Google and you can find and, and can download and run this also on your PHP applications. Update open source libraries and applications and keep your web server well maintained. Here are some of the important settings from php.ini that you should check out. You can also use another uh, application uh, or a tool, AnyScan, to scan your php.ini files for best security practices. So uh, this particular source also gives you links to the additional tools available. And in error reporting continue, continuing, in your production environment, you must always turn off displaying, displaying errors to the screen. If errors occur in your application and they are visible to the outside world, an attacker could get valuable data for attacking your application, so why give additional information to the attacker? And this is, uh, the, uh, this is showing you that how it's supposed to be done, and the comment is disable displaying errors to screen, and this is the uh, command that uh, needs to be given, display errors off, and then you also need to enable writing errors to server logs, and log errors needs to be on. So uh, these were the PHP uh, security guidelines. There's a whole set of about 10 guidelines, very detailed, on that URL. And now the PHP developers should go and study that in detail and then follow the eight-step methodology that we just mentioned uh, to create secure PHP applications. Thank you.